Okay, today we're talking about a new concept in addition to potential energy. Um, they are very closely related, but it is electric potential. It's completely different. So what we have to do is, is sort of think of this electric potential thing like we did the electric field. Um, and that's, it's going to be tricky. I've got an illustration towards the end of this that may help put it into a little bit more perspective. But for us, potential energy is most importantly energy. Potential energy tells me about work, the work we do to bring two or more charges together. When we talk about potential energy, um, it's KQ1 times Q2 over R, and it's measured in joules. Okay, Electric potential is different. This is, um, when we say voltage, that's what we mean. Electric potential or potential difference. Or, or just potential. Anytime we say something like that, the word potential in it, and we don't use the word energy, we mean this voltage thing, okay? We use a V for it. And that's energy per unit charge, just like the electric field was force per unit charge. So um, this is measured in joules per coulomb, and we, we have something for it. It's called a volt. That's our unit of measure. We use a V for the volt. Um, electric potential is the energy per unit charge. And, and what's important, energy per unit charge at a point uh, due to one or more charges. And just like the electric field, this tells me about a point in space. It tells me about a point in space and not something at a charge. Something about charges changes space. And the electric potential it tells me a little bit about how that change took place. But the electric potential is at a point in space as opposed to between two charges. It only takes one charge to calculate this. Voltage is uh, kq over r, and what's important to note about both of these things, okay, is that there is no direction. Positive and negative have nothing to do with direction, and everything to do with what charges we have. Positive potential is from positive charges. Negative potential is from negative charges. Positive potential energy means I did positive work in bringing two things together. Negative potential energy means I did negative work in bringing two things together. Um, they are different and as we go on we will look at these differences but we're going to use this to calculate the potential and finding the potential is much easier than finding the electric field and we're going to look at that. We're going to look at that so Let's say we have these charges. It's a little stretched out, but we're going to find the voltage at A, B, and C. Now, because we have two charges at all of these points, the total voltage is just the sum of voltage 1 plus voltage 2. And because voltage is kq over r, the thing that's going to change every time is the r. So at point A, we have total voltage is voltage 1 plus voltage 2. So the total voltage is K times positive 2 nanocoulombs divided by their 1 meter part plus K times negative 2 nanocoulombs divided by, and they are 1, 2, 3 meters apart. Now looking at this, I did 
plug in that negative sign and I did plug in that positive sign you have to do that with voltage because positive and negative has to do with the type of charges that I have positive and negative have nothing to do uh, with direction anymore so it's imperative that I plug in that positive sign and that negative sign so my total voltage here is okay, 9 times 10 to the negative 9 times positive 2 times 10 sorry positive 9 10 to the negative 9 divided by 1 plus 9 times 10 to the 9th times negative 2 times 10 to the negative 9th divided by 3. So this is going to be uh, 18 minus 6. It's going to be 12 volts. At point 1, it's 12 volts. Uh, for point B, it's between these two. And again, it's still going to be V1 plus V2. So the voltage total here is 9 times 10 to the 9th times 2 times 10 to the negative 9th divided by 1 plus 9 times 10 to the 9th times negative 2 times 10 to the negative 9th divided by 1. And I get the total voltage here to be 0. They've canceled each other out because I get some positive voltage from a positive charge, some negative voltage from the negative charge. I get an equal amount from this. Now, if we think back to the electric field from each of these, I know from the positive charge, the electric field from point from one pulls in that direction and the electric field from two points in that direction. So here at point B, the electric field would not be equal to zero because they don't cancel each other out. But the voltage is equal to zero there something to think about. And here at point C, okay, um, again the voltage total is V1 plus V2. I've got two charges. I've got two voltages from those charges. I have two voltages because of those charges. Um, the total voltage then is going to be uh, K times plus two nanocoulombs over one, two, three, Four. plus K times negative 2 nanocoulombs divided by 1. So my total voltage is going to be we got 18 over 4 plus negative 18 over 1. 4.5 minus 18. So that total voltage comes out to be negative 3.5 volts. And I think this should have been over 4, but we'll leave it like that. Um, the basic concept that we're trying to get across here is that you have to have a negative. You have to plug in the negative. You have to plug in the positive. You have to take into account their distances. Now, um, that's voltage. To get a clear picture of what's happening physically in space, we've got this picture. <clears throat> this is what happens in space. This would be from this would be from a, a positive charge right here, and this down here would be from a negative charge. So what the voltage does, and again, this is all from the perspective from the perspective of a positive charge. From the perspective of a positive charge, this would lift up the space around it. So this is positive potential. It's, a, it's an increase in what the electric field kind of does. It's sort of a mountain. And negative potential from a negative charge is sort of a hole. So halfway in between those, I'm back at sea level. Okay. So at this point, the voltage is equal to zero. But as we go closer and closer to this positive charge, my voltage um, gets more and more positive, bigger and bigger positive. As we go down towards the negative charge a little bit more, my voltage gets more negative. That's the voltage. The electric field works along with this. We'll do that in red. For this, the electric field sort of points in the direction that something would roll. The electric field 
kind of tells me how an object would move around this. So if I had a positive object here, it would want to go down very badly. If I had it in between those two, even though the voltage is zero, the electric field will point down into this hole. It's much stronger near the top of this and much stronger near the bottom of this. But in general, this is the path that things are going to follow around it. That's what the electric field is. So the voltage sort of gives me an idea of what the topography looks like. And the electric field gives me more, than about a, more of an idea of how an object will accelerate or fall around this shape. Um, we'll spend a lot more time unpacking this idea, but this is uh, basically what we've got for that.